and to the steam I mean, I'm just gonna do this like every every couple seconds. I'm just letting you know this is gonna be happening a lot today. Traditional Christmas music. Didn't Kate have a drug problem she wanted us to resolve? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I wish they had invented earplugs before the bombs dropped. What? <laughs> I can't hear anything now. This thing has just been blasting Ricardo Milos music in my ear for the last, I don't know how long. It's like we always joke. We always joke at the gun shop whenever people come in and they're and it's like, oh, we we have this gun or this gun, and they're like, yeah, but I don't need it. And it's like we're not a needs-based industry, man. <laughs> we're in the business of giving you bad financial advice. Just like we give to each other. Exactly. The amount of times that I have been almost talked into or talked into a gun by my other employees is inordinately high. Mm-hmm. Crabs in a bucket. I wouldn't necessarily say it's crabs in a... Well, I mean, kinda. yeah. No, it kind of is lobsters in a bucket because every single time a gun comes in that one of us is interested in, every single other employee is like, hey, 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 you should get it. You should get it. You should buy that. You should buy that right now. We have layaway and you get the employee discount. You should get it. Get it right now. Buy it. Do it. Buy it. It's a good investment. It's only going to appreciate in value. I mean, like, if you're buying, like, if you're buying, like, a, a Sandhawk, that thing is just gonna stay exactly what its price is. Mm. But if you're buying, like, a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 that's not even optics ready, then, yeah, that's not going anywhere in value. Before you get started in yet another rant, why don't we actually help Kate with her issues? Alright, we'll go help Kate with something. I re oh my god, did they- They actually rendered- Okay, can you put it in slow motion for me? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kate! When he puts the new magazine in, you can see a little brown square on there. That's where the rounds feed. Did he actually render the rounds in the magazine? Those are the rounds in the magazine. Oh. He actually rendered those. Holy shit, this mod is amazing. My only critique is that the prototype variants aren't available for it, but like, that would have required even more modeling. He would have had to do more stuff. He may have had to change the dimensions on things. So you know what? It's fine. Like, this is, this is, oh, wait, I did see something else goofy. The S is backwards on this side. Oh, it's a mirror I, one. I think he just mirrored it. Well, it's weird because none of the other ones are mirrored. Maybe that's like that on the real life gun. Maybe there's a backwards S on the real life gun. No, H and K <laughs> wouldn't do that. I do think it's funny on the G11 how it's safe, single, three round burst, minus 45. You lose 45 rounds. It's just, oh, it's just, <laughs> yeah. You know what another really cool thing about this gun is? Do tell. Completely ambidextrous. Oh yeah, the, gun sh the, the shell shoot out the bottom, yeah. Well, the, 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 there's no shells that come out of it. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. The, the, the shell is, is right. Cases. Yeah, it's completely ambidextrous. You've got sling points on both sides of the gun. It, man, it's so cool. And it's like, it's one of those things that I wish it would have been, but it was just star-crossed lovers. It was never meant to be. I think we've been to Vault 95 before. We have, maybe we haven't been. We've been in everywhere. It. I really don't remember if we- Whoa, that's a terrible fast travel spot. What the <laughs> fuck? Who put that there? Who put that there as a joke? Kate, you better hope that this rumor about Vault 95 is accurate and that they have a rehabilitation thing. Why would Vault Tech lie about something like that? Why would they tell the truth about that? I know, I was doing a bit. Uh, yeah. It, it was a joke. It was a joke. I, of course they would lie about something like that. You know, we started approaching this, and that water is so brackish. I, for a second, I just kept walking towards it, fully expecting it to go bloop and Sink disappear, into <laughs> just disappear into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Potholes in Gary, Indiana, be like, <laughs> just gonna draw a dick around it. That way, they get the, the city will get on it. D they don't care, in Gary. <laughs> that would be considered area beautification. It's what Gary's motto is: the more dicks, the better. No, Gary's motto is: we really don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm sorry. This is what potholes in Gary, Indiana be like. <laughs> There's a tree sticking out of one. <laughs> Welcome to Scenic Mammoth Caverns in Gary, Indiana. Man, you, you're really ragging on Gary. You, you haven't been there that often. Yeah, I have. Uh, Dude, yeah. I've been to Gary multiple times. This sucks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Gary. Oh, we got ghouls. <sighs> I guess that's Maybe the end of that. In Gary's defense, though, is it notably worse than the rest of Indiana? Yes, it is. Yes, it yes, is yes. It 100% is worse than the rest of Indiana. I don't think he ever took a weapon out that entire time. <laughs> I I think he just, he's that insulted by the outfit we put. Oh, no, he did. He had it. Okay. Uh, I thought he might be aggressively pacifist, like really taking that following the word of God, like 
to heart, but then I was about to be like, did you forget about if you do not have a sword, sell your cloak and buy one? It's Luke 22, 36. There's a lot of fun Bible verses. She lusted after her lovers whose emissions were like yes, horses. Yes, yes, <laughs> everyone knows the one about the horse dicks. <laughs> Everyone knows the one about horse cock. I prefer the Bible verses that are from judges that are like, If a lizard should fall into a jug of water, pour out the jug 600 meters away from your tent, and then smash the jug into a million pieces and scatter them to the wind. It's like, who the fuck wanted to write this down? I know it's for cleanliness practices. That's the whole reason for having ones in there. Yeah. But there's like multiple there's like multiple verses about what to do if a lizard touches something you own. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we got a bunch of dudes over there. Time to spread the good word! What the f- Oh, okay. Oh, that was a mannequin! They fucking got me again! <laughs> Those sons of bitches got me with their stupid mannequins again! Alright, oh, there's an Assaultron coming, so let's just fucking drop that thing. Uh, I remember this vault now. You fell for the mannequin last time, too! Every single time, the stupid mannequin gets me! The Lord forgives, but I sure don't. <laughs> I remember seeing images and film from World War One where they would take dummy heads. They would just take like a, they would take like a sandbag and and draw like big doofy eyes on it and put a helmet on it and stick it up over the trench on a on a stick mm -hmm. and then wait for someone to shoot it and then shoot back at that person. I see. And I remember seeing that and thinking that's stupid. That would never work. And then I get I get that, yeah, freaking fooled by a dollar store Big mannequin. <laughs> Hello? Ow! Uh, blow ya! Where are- Oh my god! god almighty, we survived that one. Okay, I got him. Blah! <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, sorry McCready, I was trying to reload. <laughs> so you know about the Terracotta Army, right? Yeah. You know what they are? I, I, I thought it was more of like a, a, a way to honor the person after they died. It's it like... is, but for the longest time I assumed the Terracotta Army was similar to a, a mannequin decoy. Just a bunch of clay sculptures sh shaped to look like humanoids to, oh, to so fool like, the enemy. So yeah, like, where is that? Is that in China? That's in China, right? I don't remember. Terracotta army. But yeah, like, I get what you mean. Like, you paint them and you put them all along, like, the Great Wall or something, and then they, they think that they're soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought they were. Apparently they're more of a religious thing. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, how, like, when the pharaohs would die, they would bury them underground, like, on a boat, so that the boat could take them into the afterlife, like that kind of thing. Can't believe I was stupid enough to run with these idiots. <laughs> you talking about the gunners, right? Better be talking about the gunners. I swear to God, I got a G11 with 50 rounds with your name on it, McGrady. I thought they only hold 45 rounds. I think they could hold 45 or 50, depending mm. on the magazine. I don't know, though. It's a... There's not that many of these. I've never hailed one in person. I don't know. All my information is secondhand from reading different books. Because H and K is like, no, we're gonna keep all the German space magic all to ourselves. You can't have it. If everyone has a gun like that, no one's got a gun like that. No one has, no one has a gun like that. All right. No, no I mean, <laughs> that, that, that broke my brain. <laughs> Put that on the bingo card. It's a long elevator. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Kate. For Kate, Kate, for Christmas. For Christmas, Kate. For Christmas, comma, Kate, we're getting you rehab. Yeah. I don't like the look of this rehab center. Let's go back up. No, but seriously, these tripwires here. This looks less like a rehab center and more like the laser hallway from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Go ahead and disarm Easy that. enough. Yep. Man, this place is filled with gunners, dude. Is it? Yeah. How did? Okay, McCready, uh, McCready. Go, go talk to your friends and tell them, I don't know, tell them to fuck off or something. Here. Is that someone who needs me to kick their ass? Yeah, it's McCready. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. Come on. Kick his ass! Kick McCready's ass! Over there, go. Laser cleansing the laser with your partner. Ow! Oh my god! That's why you put laser blockers on the front of your law optic. I think I might be blind in my right eye. They just tried to laser right in your optic, did they? Oh! oh that's an even bigger laser! I don't know why I'm surprised there were gunners inside. We saw that there were gunners out, so of course they're in. Ah. Oh. Jeez. 
I ripped their leg off. Yeah, I saw that! Huh. This still looks cleaner than me place back at the combat zone. <gasps> you! <laughs> Damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> I was about to shoot that mannequin. <laughs> Mannequins that get me every single, every single time. Mm -hmm. Well, if there was a useful technology in here, I'm sure the gutters either stole it or busted it up. Yeah, well, I mean, they were watching TV at one point. You think I'll they were just putting hollow tapes in there? They're folding chairs for the TV. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, all right. Did they kill all the vault dwellers? The vault dwellers opened the the vault to the outside world, and the gutters came right on in. No, it looks like these guys got God, just absolutely blasted on drugs down here. I mean, there's a lot of empty bottles and needles! Oh. Ow. I think they just got absolutely wasted. Oh, Kate mentioned that. This place is full of drug addicts. Oh, oh they had their AA meeting up here. Oh, did you guys all die in the AA meeting? Did someone leave the coffee pot on too long? Wouldn't surprise me. Have you ever had coffee that's been sitting for way too long? Uh, I have. No, I'm it's not. It's miserable. Yeah. That is the greatest failing of the modern coffee pot, is that the coffee sits for way too long, and then it just turns into sludge. I am curious what killed these folks, though, because it looks like they were in here having coffee, and they just all spontaneously died. What was this place for? Story time or something? <laughs> yes. Uh, the manifest? Let's see. The overseer of Vault 95 is an elected individual chosen to run the daily meetings and ensure the other residents adhere to the rules of the vault Tech Rehabilitation Program. This is not to be considered a position of power, but rather a position of support and servitude. Infractions are to be dealt with using positive reinforcement and encouragement. Yeah, you killed that guy, but tomorrow maybe you won't. Good job! The residents of Vault 95 are family and share the same path. The position of overseer should not prevent a resident from continuing their own personal journey. An election will be held once a year on October 30th. Residents are encouraged to inform their decision based on awarded merit points as laid out in the program guidelines. Resident Michael, oh, apparently you express your desire to reduce the amount of meetings. I do hate meetings. Uh, you believe chem dependence is no longer an issue. It's uh, all in your mind. Randall reminded the group that adherence to the program was a condition of living in the vault. Patricia, why did a vault tech even exist anymore? Randall reminded the group that we are all addicts. We may pick up unhealthy habits without the program. I expressed agreement with Randall's sentiments. Issue was put to vote. Vote to continue the program was unanimous. All right, so they were having meetings in here, and apparently it was actually going well. They were like, ooh. Ooh, a Volt Tech gift box. Ooh, a blue gingerbread man and a sweater vest. You know what, here. <laughs> you kicked him out of the chair. What the? <laughs> this is my chair. That's a much better look for him. <laughs> Teddy Bear was in AA here, too. Man, have you seen the stuff Teddy Bear's got to deal with? I'd be. I've man. seen the stuffing they have to deal with. Ah, blue gingerbread man. Take a look at that. <laughs> the Christmas. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Been down here for two hundred years, probably stale, but might still be sweet. Merry Christmas. Thanks, little gingerbread man. Now eat him. Your orders. Ensure all residents do not stray from the Vault Tech Rehabilitation Program. It is paramount that it is strictly followed for our research objectives. Okay, that's not bad. You want to make sure that the people are actually getting rehabilitated. You will act as any other resident. Your backstory and identity should already be committed to memory and will not be recounted here. You are to work with the Overseer-Elect on any compliance issues while ensuring ignorance of your special objectives. After five calendar years, your objective will shift. You will open the hidden storage compartment you were shown during your training. Allow the residents to discover the stash of chems within on their own. And well now the other shoe has dropped. Once it has been discovered, you are to thoroughly document the response of the community. Wow, great. Maybe he won't have done it. Maybe he'll be like, wow, these people are actually getting better. vault doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, maybe he'll take the noble high road. Today marks the fifth calendar year since the residents of Vault 95 and I have moved into the vault. This will be my first entry. The vault Rehabilitation Program seems to have helped every subject in this vault deal with the symptoms of withdrawal and cope with a new life in the vault environment. That is not to say that withdrawal was not a challenging process for some sub subjects. Our hypothesis is correct. When there is simply no other alternative, an individual can recover. Yeah, it's called going cold turkey. Not always the best solution. Today, I will sneak out when all are asleep and open the stash of addictive substances that has laid hidden for the last five years. Isolation seems to have proved helpful when addictive stimuli are absent. Now to see what such stimuli do to the social order we've created over the previous years. Gee, let me guess. It completely collapsed. Wow. Good work, Vault Tech. 
Perhaps somebody will leave a note that tells us exactly what happened afterward. Maybe we should not have him wear that armor. <laughs> Easily conflated with an enemy, eh? More dead residents in here. Yeah, considering how many skeletons I'm seeing in vault tech outfits absolutely surrounded by used needles and empty jet inhalers, I'm pretty sure that the experiment failed. The experiment to see if they could resist did not work. Nope. Ooh! I know it's kind of hard to come back from a uh, from an HK G11, but I just found a really good condition Remington 870. All right. Did you not already have one of those? I, I had another shotgun that was like a weird amalgamation of multiple different shotguns slapped together. Mm. I did not have just a standard wood stock Remington 870. My guy, were you eating dog food? <laughs> that was what he was addicted to. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's weird. Like, you can eat it, but why? It doesn't even taste good. Hey, it's a step up from coprophagia. <sighs> All right, I found another terminal. Elucidate us. Fuck vault -Tac. They said they were helping us. The vault was supposed to be safe. A place where rehabilitation was nothing but inevitable. May have been the end of the world for most, but we lost souls. It was a new beginning. I was grateful for the chance to start over. We all were. We had our struggles the last five years, but the time we spent here turned us into family. Any one of us would have been happy to play out the rest of our lives in here. And now this. They knew what they were doing. They weren't even trying to help us. I never thought I would see chems again. Why would I? But now here we are, with a whole lifetime's worth of stuff laid out in front of us like a frickin' department store window. <laughs> and it was there the whole time. Some cracked right away, grabbed what they could, and ran off to get high. It was fighting. I hid. Nothing I could have done to help anyone. I'm still hearing gunshots. I'm not ready to give up what I had here. Is it the majority of them lost their minds, or did all of them? I thought I was over the stuff. I thought if I ever saw it again, it wouldn't have any power over me. Ow. Oh. I was wrong. It's taking every ounce of my willpower to stay here locked in my room. I can't take it anymore. There's no reason to stay sober. It's just as messed up down here as it is up there. I need something to help me cope. I don't care about the program anymore. I don't care. I don't. I don't. I, I really don't. I'm gonna go out and be with my friends. I hope somebody's left. <laughs> that's really disappointing. Yeah, but that's vault -Tec in a nutshell. Very disappointing. What's really disappointing is someone locked away this poor Nuka-Cola truck inside a garbage can. Be free, Nuka-Cola truck! Oh, it's already dead. Well, we see people who are addicted to jet and other drugs, and someone who's addicted to dog food. You got any cola addicts down here, maybe? I mean, I'm seeing a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee cups, so... Ah, uh, caffeine, caffeine addicts, yeah, yeah. like coffee, caffeine addicts. I got high on the supply Oh, closet. yeah, this is uh, this might have been worth This is um, really not very... This is... There are probably more store stashed in there, but they all got taken out. Yeah, we'll just go with, we'll just go with that, and that it definitely isn't small enough to supply years' worth of drugs in there. <laughs> Who smuggled the one-way sign into the <laughs> vault? Like, why? Like, why? Why is that the thing you keep? I'm addicted to misdirection! Maybe it's like the guy that invented VLC Media Player, and he's just like, I really love road cones and one-way signs! <laughs> So when you mentioned soda addicts, I was like, that's not a real addiction. <laughs> Anything could be a real addiction. That's not a real addiction. You ever sucked dick for a soda? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not where we're going, but... This guy was addicted to using stealth boys. He was going to become a nightkin, but he turned into a skeleton first. Here's a door we haven't opened yet. To research! Come on, you're wasting your time in that thing. What? Oh, there's a dining area down here. Do you think there's gonna be more gunners in here? Yeah, there are. How do you get past that master security lock? Oh, yep, they already need some more gunners in the cafeteria. Oh, I gotta reload, I gotta reload. Ah! <laughs> security baton, eh? Actually surprised me. Just go ahead and fire that real quick, turn his head into a canoe. Canoe? Just scoop out his, scoop out his head. Hey, why is this like a legendary one? It's just a normal, <laughs> it's just a normal G11. Do, any, honestly, anytime you pick up a G11, that should play because they are all that. <laughs> the dust, yellow-bellied heathen. I, it's not a yellow-bellied heathen. It's a turret. Yellow-wired like, heathen. It's like calling a toaster a yellow-bellied heathen. I bet you were programmed in Visual Basic. Go! Oh, whoa! 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 Oh, he just jumped! Gunner jump scare! He was trying to get detox, why are you interrupting his treatment? This must be it. The clean room. I guess. It's not very clean. 
Okay, there's no- I don't see a gunner in here, so. Alright, Kate, get in here. You mind if I sit in that chair first? I got a crippling cocaine addiction. You know what, I'll wait my turn. You know what, never mind. It's not an addiction, because I enjoy it. I can quit whenever I want. Speaking of quitting... Everyone's getting rid of their addictions, but I don't have an addiction, so I had to take up smoking! The answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. If you don't go in there, you might die. I know. I know. But what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? Mm. What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. Nah, you're a fighter. You'll be able to pull through. Damn it. You're right. Whatever happens, I can handle it on me own. <sighs> I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. Excellent. Do I need to, um... Executioner's chair? <laughs> I guess. Is this just electroshock therapy? Because that's very... Like... Uh, cure her addiction by closing this door. Need some privacy, please? Thank you. Privacy enough. Oh, the switch is out here. Okay, great. All right, everyone leave the room. Give Kate a minute. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, it's drilling into her neck. Oh, that's not good. You don't want that. That's a bad thing. This is a bad Christmas. Put some, just put some happy music instead of that. I want to not get drilled in the neck for Christmas. We done? Okay, good, it's done. I feel really strange. Everything feels... different. Everything feels... clearer. Colors. Sounds. Smells. Nothing is like I remember. I... I can't believe it worked. The cravings. The pain. Hell. Even the rush. They've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? I no longer feel high highs. Pain gone too? I wouldn't say I'm at me best, but something's changed. That sick feeling, the pain, it's gone from stabbing to dull. I don't know, maybe some of it was in me head. Doesn't matter. It's in your neck. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, see, told you that would work out. Seems like everyone knew it but me. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old I bastard so. kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. Uh, yeah, he saw my charming personality. <laughs> something like that. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Now how about we get out of here Good enough. and leave this place far behind? Okay, we can this do that. Is, this is useful technology. You want to leave it here? Uh, Mike, there's also this drug called Fixer, which does basically the exact same thing and makes me wonder that why we didn't just give that to Kate. All right, here, I'm gonna, Mike, I'm going to run this thing on you. Uh, I wish you wouldn't. I was Too just late. joking. Ah, oh, no. Ah. Ah. Oh, ooh. Oh. Uh. I don't like those noises. I'm leaving. <laughs> so for... <laughs> So for Christmas, I got a G11. Couple firearms, yeah. Kate got rehab. What did you get? I got the thrill of adventure from all the adventures we've gone on. Ooh! Wait, what about McCready? We haven't gotten McCready anything. Does he want anything? Did we ask? I don't know. Is she still addicted to watching you be no. naked? She probably still likes it if I'm naked, yeah. I don't think she'll like it if I do drugs anymore, though. Mm. Not that I did, to begin with. I didn't spend multiple years trying to quit smoking only to start doing other drugs. Now that I'm no longer addicted, I'm going to judge you for being addicted. That's right, I've become a right prude. Yep, so you can modify the Remington 870. Ooh, I can put a cheese grater on it. That's not porting though, that's the heat shield. There's a difference. An ACOG on your shotgun. I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I used to do that in Battlefield 3. I would run the... The 870 MCS with slugs and a and a scope on it. Shotgun sniper. Because I really figured out how to make what, what the drop of shotgun slugs was, and people would get really mad at me. 
I can attach a flashlight to the magazine tube, which I hate how that looks, so I won't do it. Oh, okay. I can do the same thing with a laser, and I hate how that looks, so I won't do it. You don't like a laser on your shotgun? I just, I just don't like attaching the laser to, like, the barrel clamp like that. I would mm. prefer some type of other dedicated thing for it. Here you go, you're upgraded shotgun. Yay! An upgraded Remington 870! Pew! <laughs> Woo! You know, what you know what the Remington 870 is really good for? Do tell. Getting rid of weeds. I still see weeds! Hi, right, Eli. Howdy. Uh, no, I'm trying to... We're trying to rob you! Do you have a minute? I think we should oh. talk. Uh, okay, what's up? Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Oh, that explains why she begged for death. I wouldn't necessarily call that the easy way out, but all right. And that's the past. You got a bunch of friends now. I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Like all the plant digging that's happening in the background. And now you can confess your love for Kate because, yeah, curious old news. How dare you? <laughs> We're really good friends, Kate, and I wouldn't have it any other way. God damn, it feels good to hear you say that. Well, I guess that's all I had to say for now. Thanks for listening to me nonsense. Feels comforting to have someone like you to talk to. And don't worry. From now on, things only get better from here. I'll still keep the bullets off of you. And drink your sorry arse under the table. What are friends for, eh? Alright, Eli. Howdy. Have a good time, Eli. Stop by my camp if you need a friend by your side. Book of Eli would have been a way fucking different movie if he dressed <laughs> like that. We can install a body slider mod so he's... Nah, it's okay. You experience the banana hammock and it's don't don't work. I don't I don't need it. Okay. Don't I don't need it. And this isn't like the SpongeBob. I don't need it meme. I mean I actually don't need it. Don't do that. You don't need it, but I don't I don't want it either. 